heads of delegations, ministers, heads of missions, distinguished partners, our esteemed youth, distinguished delegates, the present and the future of Africa. Oi! Niaji! Mkopoa! Asantani sana. Today, we gather here to conclude a vibrant and insightful conversation of the very fruitful sixth edition of Youth Connect Africa Summit 2023. We have ignited a flame of innovation, collaboration, and partnership, preparing our continent to a rebirth. It is a proud moment for Africa. Kenya is happy and proud to host this distinguished event of high-spirited, sharp, and focused young minds. We take pride in the outcome of this summit. It is with immense gratitude that we acknowledge the government of Rwanda for pioneering and nurturing this visionary platform. Indeed, since the establishment Rwanda, through President Paul Kagame, has fostered the spirit of Pan-Africanism, empowering young minds. Kenya, under President William Ruto, pledges to carry forward the torch with unwavering dedication in building upon the legacy you have established. Already, Dr. William Ruto is championing a borderless Africa by, among other things, advocating for a visa-free continent. The theme of this summit, Youth Innovating a Borderless African Renaissance, therefore resonates deeply with Kenya. Distinguished delegates and our esteemed youth, we live in an age where borders are becoming more and more irrelevant. Thus, technology allows us to connect and collaborate across countries and continents. This presents a unique opportunity for the youth of Africa to rise to the occasion, to be designers of our shared future. The challenges we face are vast and complex, from climate change and unemployment to poverty, inequality, among others. But within these challenges lies opportunities, opportunities for innovation, innovation, for entrepreneurship, and for social change. Your generation is armed with creativity, passion, and advanced technology. You are well equipped to tackle these challenges and build a better tomorrow. Take your rightful place in innovation in all sectors and spheres of leadership. Our esteemed distinguished delegates, to succeed, hard work, dedication, focus, and a resolve to challenge the status quo is key. This will help you counter obstacles. You are not alone. You have the support of your peers, the community, thought leaders and influencers, governments and partners. During this summit, you have met and made friends and mentors. This is one of the reasons that Youth Connect Africa Summit was established to connect you to the people who share in your dreams, ideas, ideals, business interests, and innovations. It has become a game changer that we continue to build on. We'll work together in championing your dreams and propelling you to full potential for a prosperous Africa. Young leaders of Africa, I take this opportunity today to challenge you to unleash your inner innovator. Do not think outside the box. 
tear and throw the box away. Let your creativity be boundless. In your dreams, act big and decisively. And all dreams are valid. Father, as part of the strategies of securing funding, I, I urge you to align your innovations to areas of interest to partners and states. On the other hand, the conversation of this summit has pulled down the borders. Henceforth, take the conversation forward with your peers. Learn from each other, share your experiences, and build strong networks of collaboration. Take part in the rebirth of our great continent of Africa, where the youth are not just the future, but also the driving force of progress. Let us build an Africa that is a continent of innovation and creativity, where ideas are nurtured and transformed into reality. Let us build Africa that is a continent of entrepreneurship and opportunity, where young people are empowered to create jobs and drive economic growth. Let us build Africa, a continent of peace and security, where young people are agents of change, promoting understanding and tolerance across communities. Let us build Africa, a continent of unity and prosperity, where young people are the engineers of a bright future for all Africans. Distinguished guests, esteemed youth, on this note, Allow me to conclude by welcoming our partners to work with us in supporting outstanding projects towards realizing Agenda 2030 of the Sustainable Development Goals. Agenda 2030 of the African Union alongside the National Development Blueprint. On behalf of President William Ruto, I once more extend his invitation to all of you to take part in the Jamuhuri Day celebrations tomorrow. Thank you very much. On that note, let me take this opportunity once more to thank C.S. Ababu Namwaba and your two Prime Secretary Ishmael and Dr. Tum and the teams working under you for putting together a very successful summit. Congratulations. When I went to Rwanda for the last summit and I saw the passion of our young people, the creativity around them, the zeal, the commitment to change our continent, I made an appeal that this summit be held here in Nairobi. And I want to thank President Kagame for having acceded to that request. And I'm therefore very grateful to our CS and his team for not letting us down by putting together a seamless event that has dignified our country. I also want to thank all the young participants and delegates for the way you have conducted yourself here in Nairobi. When this event was being put together, and when our security agents were told that we shall have 20,000 young people, they were telling us that they needed to assemble thousands of policemen to keep peace and security in the events. I told them it is not necessary. These are not just youths. These are the leaders of Africa. And I want to say for the days you have been in Nairobi, not a single incident of bad behavior, of indiscipline has been reported. And you have dignified me because now, when I tell the Inspector General of Police something, he will listen to me. I told the Inspector General of Police, 20,000 young people seem like a problem to you. To us, it's a solution. These are African leaders the present and the future. So we are very happy for our young people because you have exhibited great leadership. And we know in this continent 
that in your hands we are safe. We have tremendous confidence in our young people. In the myriad of problems in the world, we as a continent deliberately choose to put our future and the solutions to our challenges to our young people, the ones assembled here today and the rest of the continent. I want to say thank you very much for those who are outside this country. Please don't be in a hurry to leave. If you had a budget of some dollars and euros, don't leave until you exhaust the entire amount. We have a serious challenge of foreign currency in this country, and whatever you can live here will be most welcome. For our people here in the country, I want to, and the rest of the content, wish you a Merry Christmas, a happy 2024, and I want to say we have faith, we have trust in you. This continent is going places. Asante Nisana. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency will keep you there. And I will invite uh, Ms. Ahuna to join you there so that we can do the presentation of awards. We'll do the presentation of awards. Um, Ms. Ahuna, quickly. Meanwhile, as this happens, the clip of, the clip of our young innovators, uh, if uh, you can have that ready, we'll be closing with that. Pauline, if you could have the clip of the young innovators. Blue Economy Innovation Challenge, and this recognizes and promotes innovation uh, projects on the continent of Africa in the blue economy space. And we have three young uh, youth-led organizations uh, that have been awarded this by UNDP. The first, uh, we have a second runner-up, uh, is Mena Suk from Madagascar. A round of applause. Representing her organization, Mena will be receiving $4,000 USD. <laughs> Mena, step up to the stage if you're here. You can the, join us up here. The first runner-up is uh, Schrodinger Technologies from Nigeria. Awarded the sum of six thousand dollars US. <laughs> and the winner is Faduce Biotech from Tanzania. Makofi. Tanzania has been very vibrant in this space. And, and as those young people come to and, join us here. And they'll be receiving ten thousand dollars. Please join us here for photo moment. And just the last category, we, we thought given the importance of peace and security on the continent, we wanted to recognize some of our innovators who are working in this space. So we have um, an award that's been given to three countries uh, for a total of $10,000. They're Uganda, Mali, and Kenya. <laughs> The second runners up, Mena, Madagascar. Mena, please step forward. Congratulations, Mena. And that is uh, 
Blue Innovation Challenge. Shodiga Technologies, Nigeria. Congratulations. And finally, the winner, Badu's Biotech, Tanzania. Mungano wa Jamhuri ya Tanzania. Oh yeah. Congratulate them. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Okay, you can step down. We had the other ones. Yes, we have two of the. Who do we have? Kenya? Mental health. The group that's working on mental health, please step forward. You are receiving. This is uh, Tapiwa, Tapiwa Penama from Malawi. Tapiwa Penama from Malawi. Please come forward. And uh, Selma Ndaslohinda from Namibia. The two of you can step forward, please. Anthony, Anthony, I'm told you're supposed to be here. Please join us here. 20,000 US dollars. Anthony, where is Nikijana? You are a youth. So step up. And then that will be followed by Selma Daslohinda from Namibia. Selma. Anthony, please join here. Lydia Zegoma from UNFPA, please join us, Lydia. Malawi Hoye Namibia Hoye Just also recognizing UNFPA here this UNFPA is the director your UNFPA regional director Lydia Zigomo the contributions for the awards thank you thanks to UNFPA Okay, thank you very much. We can step down. We're going to leave His Excellency here. He's going to do a little gig. Meanwhile, let us have that clip of our other innovators playing as we have a Rigiji moment. Congratulations to all the awardees. His Excellency the Deputy President is already on the podium. So let's all be upstanding. We're gonna have let us jump join Ricky G Africa. in this reggae moment. Come on, DJ. DJ. One jump from South Africa, please. In the spirit of our continent. I have to send the kids Ricky G. I think I never find that easy to do. 
Belle Kids, give us the Nebele Kids, that South African hit. That is a special request from uh, our guest of honor, DJ. And the spirit of Pan Africanism. We have a representation already. We have a bit of music right there playing DJ, a bit of some South African. Here we go. Waza. Waza, Waza, Waza. A pan are you? South Africa, please. South Africa, what? What? What's up? South Africa, what? What's up? DJ, ile wimbo wa mawaziri wa licheza. The song you played for the minister. That was what Ricky G wants. DJ. DJ Rudy for the CS. Ile kitu ulichezea mawaziri leta hiyo. Leta hiyo. Leta hiyo. Hiyo hiyo. Hiyo Rikiji anataka hiyo. Haya nyinyi mjoin Rikiji hiyo. Haya. Sasa tunaona amedunga Rikiji look. Let us give it up to Rikiji. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Twende. you guys Asante Asante sana Thank you thank you to our studio We will now request his excellency to remain up on stage and have everybody else take their seats We'll have the deputy Asante president. sana let us give a round of applause to our guest of honor His excellency our deputy president